All right, guys. So, CEO physique episode twenty, and the last episode of this YouTube series that we launched. What well, seems like twenty weeks ago, which is crazy. Yeah, we're wrapping up, man. The show will be uh, October twenty third, which will be this weekend coming up. So we're officially uh, seven days out today. Peak week has started. As you've seen, my meals today have basically been white fish and ginger. So CEO physique episode 20, so much has happened, so much has evolved, so much has changed, including the physique, uh, including the business. So that's what makes the CEO physique, right? Great news is though, even though this is, this is the last episode, even though this is the last episode for um, the CEO physique, we are going to be shooting starting tomorrow, CEO physique, the movie. Now, CEO Physique, the movie, is going to not only take you guys backstage with me, take you guys on a day-by-day -day basis of Peak Week in Dallas. It's not only going to go ahead and show you the activities and the luxuries and the amenities that we're going to have access to while we're out in Dallas. Um, and it's going to take you guys with me in terms of, you know, still running a business in a different state. While I'm in Dallas, I'm still gonna be managing the Las Vegas business and the Los Angeles business, staying true to that CEO physique mantra that we put from day one. Hey, Valentino. CEO physique? Last episode? You sad? You happy? <gasps> All right, no, no, relax. Give the video a thumbs up right now. Give it. If he's happy, you should be happy too. So even though this is the last episode, starting tomorrow, we will start shooting the movie and that movie will premiere. November 3rd. So if you haven't subscribed, you don't want to miss it, turn on the notification bells and uh, add it to your calendar. CEO Physique, the movie, will be premiering November 3rd. So uh, you don't want to miss that and that's going to be a huge deal. I know deep down inside, this is not my best physique. Can as the CEO of the company, the startup that's growing, can I get show ready? Everybody's good once in a while. Honest to God, I've even seen bad people get good once in a while. The problem is they don't stay good a long time. And, and consistency is not rewarded for my one-time shot. It's not even rewarded for my weekly shot. It, it, it's rewarded after I've done it time and time and time. Anybody can have a bad day, but not everybody. <laughs> I'm so scared, man. So tomorrow, the, when you look at the uh, peak week that was on the website for 2017, mm -hmm. this is Saturday, the day before water loading. This is like massive refeed, a little blog. Like today's will be like a really big refeed before you go into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday, depending on how your body responds, with like a big depletion. So refeed, depletion, then refeed again. You're supposed to refeed before you do the water stuff. Yeah. Like, What's you know, the big, science behind it? So you're, you're pushing all the glucose into the muscle, right? To like dry out the skin. And then you start water loading, you pull all the carbs back. So when you, because if, if you're really flat and then you water load and you fly out even more because you're not eating enough food then you look really skinny and then you look like soft so you don't look hard. So it's like a illusion on the muscles. 182.4. Ooh. So this is the lowest. 
This is one EB 2.4. Uh, but I'll probably end up, when I water the plea and everything, come Wednesday, probably be like 178, 177. Then I'll start carving back up again, and I'll probably step on stage around 182. But like, the body will look pretty different. What about you, bro? About my weight? Yeah, where are you at? Man, I think I'm gonna be like... The lowest all time. Uh, 190. Hoping for 190. 190, you're definitely hit. Are you gonna do water manipulation, or are you just gonna keep going? Regular. You need water load? Yeah. Damn, your body looks really good in this lighting. Damn, did my body look good? Oh, dang it. 191.2. Don't eat yet. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'm, I'm gonna fast. Yeah, did my body look that good in that lighting right there? It look great. Yeah, you look really lean in that light, bro. I swear to God, you look so lean. Dude. Oh my God. Looking good. Dude. <laughs> you gotta rewatch. All right, I'm gonna stop recording. Rewatch this part right here. I'm looking lean, I can tell my face is kind of even leaner. What about me? Huh? What about me? <laughs> Why you laughing like that? You laughing a little Why too you hard. Why that face though? Why you sucked it in like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking leaner too, bro. She's probably not gonna answer. Hello. Oh, yeah, she is. Alright, hello, hey. What was the day two, two to three weeks? All right, so we just wrapped up with some uh, meetings here. Actually, we've been in meetings for the last two or three hours, it feels like. Um, and we're heading over to go and get a haircut, which will be the haircut leading into the competition next weekend. So, let's go. How you feeling, bro? We're right around the corner, Dallas. Right there. Yeah, bro. It didn't even hit weird. you? It hasn't hit me yet, bro. It's weird. Everyone keeps asking me, are you excited for the show? Are you excited for the show? And it really... You have nothing. You're gonna step on stage this time next week, and nothing. And nothing, bro. And it's weird. I, I've, but you see, have you seen today in the morning? Yeah. When I told you I wanted to have like a relaxing day, maybe to like let things kind of sink in a little bit. And calm then, before the storm, kind of thing. You yeah, know? calm before the storm, right? And look what the, look what today turned into. <laughs> a storm. A storm <laughs> before the storm. <laughs> you know, and that's just the way it is, bro. And I guess that's just, yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. I, I, I have fun. I enjoy it. Let's go get you faded. Let's go get yo. I'm we gotta get the haircut before the show, bro. We you, out. You got a different style, or are you gonna go nah, the same style? style. So, to answer your question though, I, I, you know, I think I just went more of both. So I think that I was like all CEO, right, prior to saying I'm gonna do this show, right? And then it was kind of like a, a healthy balance of like all CEO, maybe like 80%, 20% doing the show. And then as the show got closer, it became like, maybe at one point it was 50-50, but then it quickly flipped as we started seeing more responsibility and momentum go back right into the business. And I think it was that day that I was like, okay, I got to do two days, remember? Mm -hmm. At that point, I realized that it has to be 100% CEO, 100% physique. And then, since then, it's just been more of both, not less. It's just been more of both. You know, like here I am getting my CEO competition haircut on the phone with my CMO on a delivery issue. And I think that's what, when you ask me the question, am I, like, how am I feeling? <laughs> it's almost like I'm just going through the motions of everything. I'm not really feeling any of it. You know, it's all blended in together. It truly has become like one. Yeah, so it's like both are the same exact. Like CEO of physique has become like a, a one. It's so one sentence, one word. Not one sentence, one word. CEO of physique is like blended and mushed in together. Which was the whole objective of this, this series was to make it all one thing, right? Yeah. And, and now the truth is maintaining that will be the real. No, the road check mark.
So this is... Oh, here they are. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're, just, we're just curious to see what you have. So we can have a cheat meal, we have a cheat meal coming up soon. So what do you guys know for like cooking ice cream? Uh, yeah. Oh, they do got a cookie ice cream. Have, like, oh my god, bro. Damn, it smells good. Here. <sighs> okay, I'm right. Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Oh, no worries. Have a nice day. Thank you. What you saw at the Olympia was like a posing routine, is what it's called. Uh, have I practiced for this show? The answer to your question is no, I have not practiced. In the past, I used to practice, yes. How long did you practice? Like, it was, what, is this a big part of the show? No, not really. I mean, I've always been naturally good at it. So I never had to practice a lot. But I would practice, you know, an hour here and there leading into the show. Yeah, sure. I used to do that. <laughs> now, are you going to wing it? Yeah, totally. Wing. But yeah. I'll take care of that later. We're at the mall now going to buy luggage. I don't have any luggage to actually travel with. They're, they're, if you don't find what you need here, though, it's gonna be more immense. There'll be more immense. Yeah. Awesome, love your nails. Sure, thank you, have a good day. Thank Bye. you. I almost wish that she didn't tell me shit about the immense, because now I feel like I have to cross check both. <laughs> I almost wish. Hopefully I just find what I need here, bro. All right, Pogan, let's go, let's go to the immense. You're not feeling any? No. Good to me. All right. It's big, spacious. It has wheels. How do I ring this up? Look at that park. Just want to go home and relax. Got to be about four. I wanted to relax today, bro. I wanted to. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with the couch. She's gonna Q and A me. All right, we're gonna, you know, watch a movie maybe. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I must have been like just. It wasn't been in my feelings, bro. I was like, I, I was wishful thinking there. <laughs> Definitely wishful thinking, but damn sure. Hey, Valentino. All right, wrap us up, my friend. This is the last episode. They won't see us till November 3rd, mm -hmm. I believe. You remember? Yeah, November, no, November 3rd? Wednesday, give me a set date. Uh, we don't want to get it wrong. Wednesday, November 3rd. Yep. Wednesday, November 3rd. Okay. Yep. Just wrap up the whole series up until this point and then build the hype for the movie or what's to come. Competition time. Yeah. Three, two, one, live. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up. See you for Zeke episode 12. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look up. All right. And I'm usually a one take guy, but not today. <laughs> Tell me when to go. Go. You're supposed to say action when, no. you, when you're working with a star. Anyways, hey everyone, it's Chef your T, your got, favorite. Come on, that's, Tanisha, that's let's get the do. real you. What that's you doing? <laughs> Why you being all fake? Whatever. They want the real Tanisha. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm going to just do the credits because you tried it. Chef Tanisha here. Thank you all for joining us on our journey through CEO's physique. Oh my gosh, you guys did it over. You got to give the good, get it over. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, this is the last run. Okay. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this, is, this is your last episode. Okay. Action. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your girl Chef T. Thank you for joining us along our journey with CEO's physique. You all are amazing. The whole crew is amazing. And make sure you tune in to our next adventure. That's it? What else you want me to say? I don't know, that was short. Okay, um. Three, two, one, five. <laughs> hey everybody, it is your girl Chef Tanisha. Thank you for joining us along our journey on CEO's physique. Remember to tune in, subscribe, share, and link up with us next time. That's all I have to say, because I'm the celebrity of the show and I don't feel like I should have to do this anymore. Hi, Michael, miss you, have so much fun, and you're gonna kill, absolutely kill it. Yo, Wolf, what's going on, man? Listen, good luck with the show, bro. You've been killing it this year. You've been relentless with the work ethic. Um, the way you've transformed yourself and your business this year has been a sight to see, so. I remember watching your last show, Amazing Experience, and this year you're just on this different level, physique-wise. Uh, listen, man, we love you, we support you, uh, we appreciate you for always getting us in the right mind state when it comes to physique. 
and business and mindset. So listen, bro, good luck. You're gonna kill it as you always do and you already know what time it is. Hey, power. <laughs> I just wanna wish you good luck on your competition. You're gonna do great, I believe in you. And I know they're gonna be able to do it too because you are the best. Hey, Mike, just wanted to wish you luck in your competition and give you all the support you need. Go, go get this W and bring it home. Hey Mike, Chef T here. And I just wanna wish you the best of luck at your competition. I don't think you need luck. I know you're gonna kill it. You are the best at what you do. You are motivation, you are inspiration. So I'm sending you love and light and so much positive energy. You know I'm gonna be holding it down for you here at HQ. Continue being the best that you are, the wolf, and the best boss in the biz. So peace, love, and life, and go show them what that perfectness body do. Uh, I just want to state simply how incredibly proud I am of him for sticking to, following through, and showing up every day. The dedication that he shows with no days off to everyone within his proximity through personal business relations, it's admirable. Yo, uh, I just wanted to wish you, Michael, good luck on, on the show. You're going to kill it. I know you've been working your ass off um, for this. It's been, God, like... 20 weeks of prep or something like that. It started in the summer and it's almost here. We, I know we talk about it all, all the time. I commend you because it's representative of how hard you work, not only in fitness, you know, your physical aspect, uh, but in your professional work aspect as well. And that's why I have so much confidence in you. Um, wish you all the luck. And then, you know, after the show, let's just kill it uh, for the rest of Q4. Good luck, man. Hey dad, wishing you good luck at you competition. You're going to kick us. I know it's I promise not to jump on the couch while you are away. Love you dad, rock out. Alright Jeff, I'm out to Dallas, but I'll see you there. Peace.